Welcome to our VBT Group Travel <coughs> Program webinar today. We are here with our Group Tour Manager, John Zielig. John, welcome. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you, everybody, for attending our Group Travel Program webinar today. I saw a few familiar names out there, people that have traveled with us. So I appreciate you spending the next uh, 20, 30 minutes or so with us today and learning about the Group Travel Program. We're broadcasting live today from our world headquarters in Williston, Vermont, outside of Burlington. A nice spring day, blue skies. Wish we were cycling out there today. Uh, we could be out on our two Vermont tours. We have the Champlain Valley and the Classic Vermont Tour in our backyard, so come visit us. I'm going to be your host today. I'm joined at my side today by Jen Herwood. Hi, everyone. There you go, John. Perfect. On the left, that's a photo of me, uh, and that's uh, from our Italy Amalfi Coast tour. That's actually a mozzarella ball. It's, uh, it's not an ostrich egg. Uh, we like to go out and have a little fun, but we're actually working on our tours. We're learning about our tours. I've done the California Wine Country and Pacific Coast tour, our North Holland Bike and Boat tour, which is amazing, and the Amalfi Coast tour. Jess has been with VBT for about five years. This is a shot of her on the Vietnam tour, so she's our Vietnam expert in-house. She's also done the California tour in Burgundy. So any questions on some of those tours, we can help you out personally. And all of our tour consultants are well-versed in all the tours. So think of me as your group concierge for the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes or when you're working with me on your group travel. Today we're going to spend uh, the time real kind of informally. Uh, don't worry, there's not going to be a quiz at the end. We're going to run through the group program, give you an overview of the program from start to finish. I know some of you are more familiar with VBT. Others maybe you haven't traveled with us, so I'm going to show a quick video about a minute and a half to talk about the VBT experience, the benefits of becoming a group organizer, your role. Don't worry, it's not too hard. I'm going to share some ideas I've gathered along the way from some of our VIP group organizers. I know you guys are anxious also to hear about our group discounts uh, that we offer. We'll share those tips from the group organizers, and we'll also have a little question and answer session at the end. So just sit back, relax, grab a little Caprese salad or maybe a little waffle that I had on the Holland trip. So let's get rolling, pun intended. So what's the group experience all about? You know, BBT's company mission is positively impacting people's lives through active travel experiences while providing the best value. So when I tell people what I do in my job, that's, that's what I do. And I just love talking to people every day on the phone, hearing their stories. When you come back from a tour, the videos that people share with me uh, with that corny Italian music playing in the background. I really, honestly, I do really love, love that and talking about the tours with everybody. Now, VBT has been the leader in group travel deluxe vacation since 1971. So going on almost 50 years, we have a lot of experience. We started as VB as Vermont Bike Tours. Uh, we've grown so much that we've expanded to over 27 countries offering 55 tours. So we've I uh, shedded that name and we were now just VBT Bicycling and Walking Vacations. We do the we do bicycling tours. We also do boat and bike tours, as well as walking vacations. And our newly our new itinerary on the New Zealand tour includes biking, walking, and even kayaking. We're really proud to be honored as one of the top ten operators, as mentioned by Travel and Leisure World's Best Awards. And we really have a great, strong loyalty program, as some of you may have traveled with us uh, many times. I have people who have traveled 10 and 20 times. I asked one guy, one group organizer who's traveled with us 20 times what his favorite tour was, and he said it was his next tour, of course. <laughs> what sets us apart, uh, we have local trip leaders, and we really love to take you off the beaten path. And we call it discovery moment. So if you're doing a, a walking tour, you're walking along a path, and maybe you found somebody making wine in their backyard, 
by doing this kind of tour at your own pace, you can stop over and tell them John sent you, but see how they're making that. You can stop along the way, take photos. It's all at your own pace. All the local leaders are bilingual. Uh, you'll have uh, somebody that knows that area like the back of their hand. Now Lee's going to take over the command here and show the short about minute and a half video. You're in these little towns that you probably would never go to. You're out on a bike just experiencing the beauty of whatever country you're in. Just stuff you would just not do on your own. The trip leaders on this tour are awesome. You just get immersed in a culture. And I think a lot of that is the guides because they're from these areas. They're very accommodating. Very knowledgeable. Take care of every need. They're very flexible. It's always really, really well-run trips. I want it to be as easy as it can be, and they take care of everything. They put you up in, you know, great hotels. You're totally taken care of for the whole time you're with them. I had luggage tags with my name on it. I have planned activities for the day. I honestly don't have to think about anything. We can just fall out of the plane, and they will take care of us until we fall back into the plane. No matter what your level of biking, you feel very comfortable on these adventure experiences. It's all very natural and organic. And when you're pedaling, you're smelling it, you're feeling it, you're really experiencing it in a totally different way than if you were on a train or a bus. I think the personal touch is really important. We enjoy meeting people who have similar interests, who like the bike, who are from all over the country. All of it contributes to this really great experience that you have with VBT. You got it. Hope you enjoyed that little video. We also have another video about our waterways tours on the website. That's a great one, too. So why become a group organizer? Well, first off, most of our groups are made up of friends and family. You're traveling with like-minded people, so I, I hope you really like your family. I know, I know some of you include your, your dog as part of the family, but first and foremost, you need to find a pet sitter. <laughs> so we stress that VBT is made up of small group travel. Most of our tours run from 12 to 20 people, so it, it could just be your group, a private group. I'll go into that more in a bit, uh, what that uh, entails. We'll take care of all the details for you, logistics. I love people that do the air package. It's really the best value we have. So really think of it as door-to-door -door service. You just have to get to the airport in the US and we'll take it from there. The group program offers some incentives to travel for free. If you gather a group of eight or more of your friends, so nine total, the group program starts with a rebate for you. With the group program, and really with any of our tours, you'll receive the best value in active travel for you and your group members. And as I mentioned, there are some private tour opportunities, and I will go into the specifics for that. So what's a typical group like? You know, my answer is there's really not a typical group. We have people travel with families. I just spoke to a gentleman who is bringing 12 of his family members from uh, age from grandkids in their 20s uh, up until their high 70s. So we have people that do even a, a trip. I had a group that went to Ireland with 17 of their families just rediscovering their roots. Uh, it could be your ski club, your spinning club, your Zumba club. Uh, I had a hiking club that went to the Portugal tour. So kind of think outside the box. Your co-workers, hopefully you like them. College classmates, I had a group of guys that just did our Rockies tour, and they're all getting together after 30 years, uh, so a guys tour. Uh, a group of 20 women who travel together every year, they did our Chile tour, and boy, did they, they just love that wine making at the end of that tour. So really anything, anybody you'd like to invent, invite, it could be friends of friends, just reach out to as many people as you can. A couple of tips to help you gather the group. You know, expand that, uh, that reach, just be creative. You, know, you can use social media, Facebook. I'm sure you're on. You can post a link to our tour there. You know, host a barbecue. Uh, invite people in your community that, you're, that you associate with. 
uh, have a cocktail or a theme party, I'll even send you the rest of my recipe for almond lemon cake from the Amalfi Coast. So, like I said, be creative. If you've been on a tour with us in the past, keep in touch with those folks. When you go on the tour, make sure you get everybody's email. One group organizer just did his second tour, his first time as a group organizer, Steve, and last time I talked to him, he had a you know, he had a group conference call with 12 people on the line, and that was a great way to decide which trip they were going to go on from the beginning. Now, and share some of those experiences through a video and photos. Your role as a group organizer uh, is really easy. Uh, your first, your first, I say, the hardest part is picking that tour. I'm here to help you out. I can help narrow down the tour you'd like to pick, whether you're looking for a tour that's easy rated or maybe a little more challenging, uh, walking or biking. Maybe you're looking for a tour that has beaches, wineries, or going through small towns. You want to stay on some bike paths. Uh, I'm here to help narrow that down for you. If you need a tiebreaker vote, I'll help you out with that too. So once we pick that date, just give me a call. I'm going to hold space for you for three weeks to begin with with no worry about losing your space. There's no deposit needed, no obligation even at that point. I like to say if you have, if you have six people, eight people uh, on the fence about a tour, that's a good time to reach out to me. I'm, I'm definitely willing to hold space for you. We're optimistic you're going to be able to get to 9, 12, and you'll be, you'll be surprised how that grows through time. My part, after you pick that date, I'm going to send you back a group email with a group number. You'll forward that to all your group members, and then you can just sit back and relax. They're going to make their own reservations with us. In my group letter, I'll have a link to the tour, so you can peruse the itinerary, the photos, reviews, pricing, uh, very easy. Lastly, if you, if you reach that magic number of nine, I'm going to send you a group rebate check about two weeks from departure. So after you've picked that tour, and I've emailed you the group letter. You're going to go out and recruit all your friends. You have that next three weeks uh, to call in to make your reservations. You're going to deal with an individual tour consultant here. So everybody in your group can do whatever they want to do. You could have people from all over the U.S., Canada, flying out, all doing separate packages, whether they want to do the air package, uh, if they want to do extensions, pre and post tours. They'll individualize that with their tour consultant. Uh, that includes adding upgrades to the airfare, business class. Maybe they want to customize their area. They want to spend a month over in Europe. Those are all things we can do with the group program. And lastly, don't forget, now's the time to pack. Enjoy the, enjoy the ride or the walk. Oh yeah, and don't, don't forget to have fun. So the specific numbers to, for the perks, for the incentive, are kind of a three-tiered program, starting with the first benefit of I'm going to save space for you. If you achieve nine or more people, the first level is uh, you would receive a 50% rebate, 50% off the average tour cost of your group would be sent back to you about two weeks from the tour in the form of a check. So eight people plus yourself, or nine. The next year is 10 people plus yourself, so 11. You'd receive a free rebate, one free tour. 16 plus yourself is the highest tier to receive two free tours. And your vacation is exclusive, just your private tour. So if you get to that level, we would not advertise that date, and it'd be up to you. You could uh, fill the tour just your, your folks with 17 or more people. Just to give you an idea, just a rough calculation how all this works, uh, I'll use the example of 12 people. And let's say you did your average tour cost for an Italy tour was roughly 4,000 people. So at 12 people, we'd send you a check for $4,000. Divide that 12 ways, that's a healthy savings of about $333 per person. Now you're already thinking, what am I going to do with that rebate? Well, most often, our group organizers share it with their group members. It's very generous of them, but you can be creative in how you share it. Uh, 
Some people, I say 90% of people share it very evenly. Some people are creative. They've given out $100 bills at breakfast. Uh, maybe they have a special meal or appetizers. They use it as part of that. Some groups choose to even make some custom bicycle jerseys with their design on it. Had a group from the doing the Loire Valley that has some a really neat uh, bicycle jersey. They had pictures of wine bottles in the back pocket. Just talk to me. I can help you out uh, with some jerseys and steer you in the, the direction for that. Other group organizers like to donate it uh, a portion to a local charity. One of our group organizers is doing the PMS Challenge down in Boston. He's using a portion of that to uh, contribute to his uh, fundraising efforts. Thought you'd like to see some of our top group tours. This is kind of the top 10 list of the bicycle tours. Uh, we have uh, some European tours here, as well as a domestic tour in California. I have a walking tour in the Amalfi Coast. So whether it's you're looking for wine, olive oil, pizza, in Italy, maybe tapas in sangria in Spain. I think there's really something for everybody here. I know some of you are anxious to see our new 2019 tours. Here's a list of six tours we're introducing for next year. And we have a great track record with new tours. This year's new tour was the, in 2018 with Scandinavia, and every date has sold out completely. So we have added more dates for 2019 on Scandinavia. The Portugal bicycle tour as well has been quite popular. So I'm sure these are as well. Really interesting is the Danube bike and river cruise, number one up on the top. This is the photo in the upper left corner. It's on a river ship owned by Emerald Waterways. It's still going to be 24 VBT guests, but we're going to share space with up to 180 passengers on this cruise line. So as you meander down the Danube, you're going to have a luxury cruise. You're going to go out biking every day, just like a regular tour, but you're going to come back at the end of the night, have dinner on the cruise, dancing, so much to do. Movie theater, swimming pool on the boat, that looks like a great tour. That is up on the website now. Next in line is the Italy to Venice, Italy, Venice to Mantua, which is on the bottom right corner. That's more typical of our boat tours that include a barge. That one is a little unique. It has up to 30 passengers. So if you have 30 close friends, what a great way to spend time. You unpack once on the barge. It's going to be an easy bicycling tour as you bike along the Venice Lagoon. We've added a Spain tour in the Basque region, uh, kind of piggybacking on our walking tour up in that region, easy cycling. We've added a domestic tour down in the southwest Arizona. Uh, easy bicycling, easy moderate. If you, you know, great time of year to get away from October into early spring of next year. Has some really neat uh, accommodations at the Tucson and uh, the Chewback Resort and Spa. Backing up in our New England neighborhood, the New York and Rhode Island tour over to Shelter Island in Newport. Another easy cycling tour. Even has the option to start with a tour of Broadway before the tour. And to finish it off, a walking tour in the Cotswolds. Uh, a gentle walking tour uh, in the Cotswolds of central England. So just to recap, we talked about how to gather the group. Call me to reserve a tour date. How your group's going to make your reservations. How easy the process really is. Uh, just sit back and relax. And then, of course, collect your group organizer discount. And lastly, bike, walk, and discover with VBT. So I want to thank you for spending time with us today. This is my contact information. You can reach me through this email directly or call my extension. If you lose this, just shoot an email to info at vbt.com. But I'd love to talk with you more. I will follow up with anybody who had specific questions, too. And I know we did have some questions out there already. We maybe can fire away. Yes, thank you, John. We do. And just a reminder to our audience, if you have a question that you would like to have um, submitted to be read on the air, or even if you just want it answered later, 
use the question box over on the right hand side of your screen. If you don't see it, look for the little orange button with the white arrow in it. Click on that, everything will expand and you'll see the area labeled questions. Type it in there. I'll be your voice and read your question aloud. So, John, on to our questions. We have a question here about the maximum number of people on a tour. Sure. I can help with that. This is Jan again. And um, it actually varies a little bit from tour to tour. Some of our, our tours are a little bit limited by accommodation capacity, so we can only take about 17 people. The norm on most of our bike tours is that we can accommodate up to 20 people. And with our bike and boat tours, we have a little more room, and we can often take up to 24 people. OK, that's great. Thank you. And John, what if I, if I don't get enough people to join my group? <laughs> well, I like to say there's no harm in trying. So if you think you're going to have enough people, you're optimistic, give me a shout. Uh, there's no harm. We're not going to deduct anything uh, once you book. Uh, we're still going to hold the space for you for the three weeks to begin with, help you out along the way. So you can always add group members anytime, even after the three weeks, based on availability. So even if that group, uh, the hold is expired, you can keep trying all the way up until departure time, as long as there's availability. Mm -hmm. OK, well, that's good. Thank you. And another question that we just had is, says, I've not traveled with VBT before. Is it mostly Americans? It is typically Americans. Most of our advertising is done here in, in North America. So mostly we have US residents and Canadian residents going on our tours, although word gets out, especially in the information age. So occasionally we have someone joining us from Europe, from Australia. Uh, really for, from anywhere. Everyone's welcome, but typically our guests are Americans. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And uh, we have a question here about um, the tours that are available for the group program. So are any of the tours in your catalog excluded from the program? No, not at all. Uh, all the tours are available for groups to book. And now is really a great time to look for next year. Uh, somebody asked me, when's a good time to book for next year? The re now, now is a great time. So we have already opened the door for groups to book for next year. Some dates have been taken, but the best availability is now. So if you'd like to lock in a date, please call me now. We don't uh, disseminate our big catalog until the beginning of September. So the general public uh, really doesn't know about our tour dates yet. So. Mainly they're open for groups. The Holland and Springtime tour is, I believe, almost completely sold out for 2019. But other than that, I've had a number of groups already booking for next year. But they are all open. There's uh, four groups. OK, great. Thank you. And we have some specific interest in your Arizona trip. Um, are the details of that available online? They are. So right now, the website, I know, is we just started the tour in October of 2018. And the itinerary is up there for 2018. I will get back to you. I believe it's going live for 2019 soon, if it's not up there. But the itinerary is going to be very it's similar or not identical. So you, if you go onto the website, just search for Arizona, and definitely you can see that tour. It's real. I'm, I'm excited to be offering that. Yeah, it sounds great. So uh, what about uh, uh, folks traveling with kids? What is your minimum age for kids? Our, our standard minimum is 16 or above for uh, folks traveling outside the U.S. Within the U.S., we ask that kids be 13 or, or over. Um, depending on the kid, it's always something we're willing to talk about. We have certainly made exceptions. So. And particularly if you're going to be having, if you have enough folks to get a private tour, uh, it's, a, it's, it's certainly easy for us to make exceptions. Um, as long as they're old enough to ride a bike, and a normal adult-sized bike, and they're comfortable with travel, comfortable, comfortable with the group, uh, it, it's definitely always something we discuss. These are, I would say, mature groups, uh, but we do eat late on tours in Europe. We may eat at 7 o'clock or later. And it can be long meals and long nights. So 
just keep that in mind. Oh, that's that's good to know. Well, thank you. Well, I'm going to put one one last call out for questions because I've I've just got one left in the queue here. So, everyone, if you have a question, please go ahead and submit it now. Otherwise, um, we'll make this our last question. John, can you explain to us the goodbye discount? Oh, surely. So now, when we say we're booking early for 2019, we offer an incentive called the goodbye discount. It's a limited time offer. The offer goes away at the end of October. So anybody who books now for 2019 until the end of October is eligible to receive the goodbye discount. The goodbye discount is a savings. You're entitled to 5% off of the tour cost of what you have booked if you pay in full within two weeks of your deposit. That does exclude upgrades to business class. But it's a, a nice way to save a little up the front end. Okay, well that's good. All righty. Well, um, it looks like that is our last question. So, John, let me turn it back to you and Jen for anything else you might like to share before we close. Yeah. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today. I enjoyed running through the group program with you along with Jen. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. If you have any questions at all on the tours, the group program, please give me a call or send me an email. So I appreciate you spending your time with us today. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Thank you both so much for being with us. And everyone, we appreciate having you with us as well. And with that, we will conclude the webinar. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>